G'day guys, I'm Greg from Oaksy Adventures. Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, uh, I thought I'd get a rundown of the new current build. Uh, we're currently away in 80 Mile Beach and uh, I've been using it now for the last week, so I'll uh, run you through what's been working well on it and how I've built it. So, um, previously, as you would have seen, I had a tub and a fiberglass canopy and I got rid of that, it just wasn't working for me. Um, and I went to the Gull Wing. This Gull Wing is through uh, High Drive, um, fits within my budget and uh, yeah, it's pretty, and so far I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, well built inside, basically just two door canopy. Um, as you can see it's, it's all uh, decked out inside, I've got a bit, a bit of gear in because I am away but uh, I'll run you through it. So on this side of the canopy then I'll go around to the other side. Okay so as you currently see two fridges in the back, I run a 40 and a 65 and on the back wall there's a battery shunt and I have the 2000 watt energy inverter that has a uh, switch on which is the other side and turned on and off on the other side. Uh, on the roof I have run the, a uh, fishing rod holder to keep my rods out of the way, um, also a, a light, two light bars one either side and um, they're pretty good so that, those light bars can go from uh, white or orange on the back what I've fitted there is two little lights on the back as well um, so I can use the uh, toolbox in the back as a table. Let's just open this up. You can buy this, um, this, this toolbox drawer with a lift up uh, lid. Um, it was an extra $600 on top of the drawer so I thought I'd uh, get a bit of aluminium plate bent up which cost me 50 bucks. That just comes off, it keeps all my gear in there, out the way. I can use this as a table as well, and or cutting up fish and stuff, if I ever catch any fish, but um, yeah, take it in the ocean and wash it, so I thought that was a good idea. Um, apart from that, it's pretty well basic drawer. We'll go on the other side and have a look. This side here is not exactly the same as the other side, except uh, it has all the main power in it. Okay, yep, I'll grab the camera, I'll run you through what we've got in here. Alright, this side we have just standard King's 900 drawer, um, hot bolters are to the deck of the uh, canopy. It has the uh, aluminium or stainless steel um, table that goes on the end of this. I uh, have a 12 volt kick ass oven, uh, I use that on the way up and I'm quite, it's quite impressed with that, it works really really well. Uh, the 65 litre sits on a Ridge 4x4 tilt slide out fridge slide, uh, I'll give you a rundown on how that works as well. Okay so how this works is uh, I've got a little safety latch just here, open that up, without the lever, and it drops down like that and you get straight to your fridge. And uh, getting it back again, it's pretty easy, it's on gas struts. Lift it back, close up the little lever there, locks in, done. Okay, what else do I have in here? 50 litre water tank in the back as well. Um, I'll take it, get a closer look to the, the power plant as well, so you can see that. Okay, so I'll say 25 DC DC charger. I, the control box is purely a King's um, box, and I've just uh, bolted the charger to it, and I've fitted a Renergy battery monitor to it as well. Apart from that, it's stock. Um, circuit breaker coming in, and that is basically it. That's my setup. What I have put on here, what you can see is the red Anderson plug. That's my solar in. Um, and that goes up to a King's 160 um, panel. Okay, so the uh, 160 panel is, is actually bolted to the rooftop tent. As you can see, I've got the 30 second wing awning on the side. Uh, I did, I had a review of that awning uh, not that long ago. You can check that out too, you guys, if you want to. The, uh, the Bush Company rooftop tent is working a treat. That's also another little review on that as well, but that's really been really well. Um, I can't complain about that at all. 
So the, the whole outfit is working really well. Uh, nothing's really been a problem so far, so hopefully it doesn't become a problem. Yeah, so that's, that's basically it, guys. Um, typical uh, Ute uh, build. Uh, there's plenty out there. There's a bit lot better ones than this one as well. So you know, you just do what you can with the money you've got and the budget you've got to, to play with. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I'm very happy with it. Happy with uh, the whole the whole outfit. It's working really well, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, continue to use this rig as it is. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later on. And uh, I'll see you around. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.